You may now be seated. Hi. 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 <laughs> Welcome, family and friends. Sasha and Andre feel blessed you've come from near and far to join in and celebrate the start of their new lives together. In fact, many of you have traveled very long distances to be here to witness their marriage and share the joys of this very special occasion. We thank each and every one of you. Sasha and Andre feel that all of you are a part of your own personal family, and not only by relation, because ultimately friends are the family we choose. Sasha and Andre come here today from different backgrounds with very life experiences. Some of these differences will no doubt present challenges and will often require compromise. Nevertheless, they come together to combine their two separate lives into one. They do so with great anticipation for the richness that will result from the union of cultures and traditions that each brings to this relationship. It did not take Sasha and Andre very long to know that they had found in one another a partner for life. In fact, today marks a year less one day from the first time they ever spoke of getting married. This was but a month after their first date. Though such a quick progression worried both of them at first, <coughs> Sasha's mother seemed to know best and said something Sasha and Andre now treasure as wisdom. It does not take long to understand the core of another person and to know whether their soul can be akin to yours. The rest are details, and you can spend your entire life learning them. Though they come from different cultures, Sasha and Andre were pleasantly surprised to find that they each feel at home in the other's family home. The values they both hold dear their entire lives are mirrored in their different backgrounds and upbringings. And each of them felt like a part of the other's family, swiftly and easily. Today's ceremony celebrates something that happened months ago. Sasha has already joined Andre's family, and he has already joined hers. Sasha and Andre have always looked to their families for support and guidance. Today especially, they look to their parents for inspiration as they prepare to start their lives together as husband and wife. Virginia and Henry, Andre's parents, have been married for 40 years. Tatiana and Dimitri, Sasha's parents, have been married for 29 years. Both couples have built their lasting marriages around respect, friendship, and a most committed love for one another. Sasha and Andre hope to emulate the strength of their parents' marriages in the years to come. Today is a moment of celebration let it also be a moment of dedication. The world does a good job of reminding us how fragile we are. Individuals are fragile, relationships are fragile too. Every marriage needs the love, nurture, and support of a network of friends and family. On this wedding day, I ask each of you in your own way to offer a silent prayer, blessing wish, or hope for our couple. <coughs> A wedding ceremony is an outward form. To be true, it must be a symbol of something inner and real, a sacred personal union which nature might mirror, a church solemnized or a state declared legal, but which only love can create and mutual loyalty fulfill. The contract of marriage is most solemn and is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. No other human ties are more tender, no other vows are more important than those you will now assume. Marriage requires communication between husband and wife. As each person expresses their views, the intimacy between the couple grows, and therefore the relationship is strengthened. As these words are expressed both sincerely and genuinely, honesty between each partner enables the relationship to endure both good and bad. Thus it is possible to share not only joys and successes, but also the burden of sorrows and failures. To be known in that way is a priceless thing. Marriage is a sincere mutual commitment to love each other 
and to work towards creating an atmosphere of care, consideration, and respect, all of which can make each day come alive. Marriage symbolizes the intimate sharing of two lives, yet this sharing should enhance, not diminish, the individuality of each partner. A good marriage is dependent upon many factors. Beyond the love and respect you share for one another, there must be a strong sense of commitment and loyalty that bonds you, and above all, the true friendship and willingness to communicate with one another. For a marriage to remain strong, your faith must never waver due to the trials and tribulations of everyday life. Remember, the power of faith can conquer all obstacles. Sasha and Andre have chosen two special passages to commemorate and inspire their wedding. These readings will now be shared by the Maids of Honor Jacqueline Madden and Nicole Mayard. Family and friends, if you'll please rise. The reading from the book of Ruth. But Ruth replied, do not urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. The reading is from the letters of St. Paul to the Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And now these three things remain, faith, hope and love, but the greatest of these is love. Thank you, Jacqueline and Nicole. You may now be seated. Sasha and Andre come here today to pledge their love and loyalty from this day forward. We ask God's blessing on their union. The vows which you are about to exchange serve as a verbal representation of the love you pledge to each other. For it is not the words which you will speak today which will bond you together as one, but is the inner sense of love and commitment that each of you fills within your soul. As you're exchanging each other's vows, say them not for the ears to hear, but look in each other's eyes, heart, and soul, expressing yourselves freely. Please join me. I ask, Andre, do you promise to be a loving companion, to comfort and encourage Sasha, to cherish and respect her, to be her guide when she is searching and her light in times of darkness? Do you promise to forgive her and be forgiven by her, to accept each other's mistakes and apologies, to express your thoughts and emotions openly and honestly? Do you promise to share in her joy and happiness and celebrate her triumphs with her, and Andre, do you offer your hand, heart, and soul, trusting that they will be safe with her to live together now and forever in love? I do. Sasha, do you promise to be a loving companion, to comfort and encourage Andre, to cherish and respect him, to be his guide when he is searching and his light in times of darkness? Do you promise to forgive him and be forgiven by him, and to accept each other's mistakes and apologies, to express your thoughts and emotions openly and honestly? Do you promise to share in his joy and happiness and celebrate his triumphs with him? And Sasha, do you offer your hand, heart, and soul, trusting that they will be safe with him to live together now and forever in love? I do. Andre, if you would please repeat after me. I, Andre, take you, Sasha. 
I, Andre, take you, Sasha. As my wedded wife. As my wedded wife. I promise you love, honor, and respect. I promise you love, honor, and respect. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. And to not forsake you. And to not forsake you. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I ask for nothing more. I ask for nothing more. From this life. From this life. But that I may. But that I may. Live out my days with you. Live out my days with you. I offer my hand. I offer my hand. My heart and soul. My heart and soul. And trust that they will be safe with you. And trust that they will be safe with you. Sasha, if you'll please repeat after me. I, Sasha, take you, Andre. I, Sasha, take you, Andre. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. I promise you love, honor, and respect. I promise you love, honor, and respect. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. And to not forsake you. And to not forsake you. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I ask for nothing more. I ask for nothing more. From this life. From this life. But that I may. But that I may. Live out my days with you. Live out my days with you. I offer my hand. I offer my hand. My heart and soul. My heart and soul. And trust that they will be safe with you. And trust that they will be safe with you. May we have the rings, please. Without beginning or end and no point of weakness, the circle is a symbol of wholeness and strength. This ring symbolizes the wholeness of your love and the strength of your commitment. May the many facets of the gems represent that love is not a single act or state of mind, but a continuing series of simple thoughts and acts to be given each day throughout your lives. Andre, if you would please place this ring on Sasha's finger and make your vow. I give this ring as my gift to you, where at each day I know that you are my best friend, my partner for life, and I commit myself to you completely. I love you oodles and forever. Sasha, if you would please place this ring on Andre's finger and make your vow. I give this ring as my gift to you, wear it each day, and know that you're my best friend, my partner in life, that I've committed myself to you completely, and I love you oodles and forever. As often as either of you look upon these rings, may you be reminded of this moment and the love you have promised. We will now have a final reading presented by Jason Pang, Andre's brother. Some words from Carl Gibran's The Prophet. You were born together, and together you shall be forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days, and you shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone, even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Thank you, Jason. Sasha and Andre would like to share a special wine that Sasha's father served both their families on the night of their engagement. Sasha's father presented this bottle as a gift to Andre, and they would now like to share it in celebration of their wedding. The singular glass from which they drink symbolizes their union as husband and wife. Sasha and Andre, may you never thirst. May you have a life of good health and cheer and share the company of your family and many good friends. May you make it a lifelong and constant habit to celebrate the beauty of every moment together. And as a family, make your home a special place of peace, love, joy, and true fulfillment.
have some good wine we had on our engagement okay. night. Mm. <laughs> some more? Mm. Well, she wants a refill. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> If a wedding is supposed to be a joyful occasion, that we have achieved that and more. The spirit of joy is here today and the blessings of many. How fortunate you are to have found each other. What a treasure it is to have a companion for life. Today you brought two families together and celebrate as one family. Every day for the rest of your lives you will make choices. You will choose whether to be kind and patient with one another. You will choose to communicate with one another. You will choose to listen and hear one another. You will choose whether to find fault or to be forgiving. It requires great trust and faith to pledge oneself as you have done to a lifetime with another person. You will bear each other's burdens as well as share in each other's joys. May you always be the best of friends as you are today. And long, long years from now, may you look at one another and be able to say, because of you, I've lived the life I've always wanted to live. Because of you, I become the person I long to be. May God look with grace upon Sasha and Andre. May he help them keep the covenant which they have made. May he give them wisdom and fortitude to face all of life's circumstances. Make each a source of strength and encouragement to each other in whatever they set out to achieve. May they be a blessing and comfort to each other, companions in joy and in sorrow. May they be kind to one another. May God enable them to recognize their faults and seek out each other's forgiveness with grace. May they trust in each other, trust life and not be afraid. May God keep their marriage in perfect harmony with one another and the universe in which they dwell. Sasha and Andre, now that you've heard the words about love and marriage, now that you've shown us the example of your love and celebrated your union by giving each other these beautiful rings, by the power vested in me, but most of all, by the power of your love for each other and by the blessings of all present here today, you have become one as husband and wife. Andre, you may now kiss your wife. Please rise for the bride and groom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Sasha and Andre Pank.